Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Rebecca Red. I'm on the great northern peninsula of Newfoundland. I'm a guest of Tuckamore Lodge. I'm fishing for Atlantic salmon for the very first time. I have a great guide and I'm learning a lot. And I think you will too. It's going to be a great show. Stick with us. Let him go back to live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Islander Precision Reels, Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet, Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. On this week's show, the new fly fisher crew is in the heart of the great northern peninsula of Newfoundland near St. Anthony visiting Tuckamore Lodge. This full-service drive-to location has access to some of the best Atlantic salmon fishing in the province. Our host is Barbara Gange, whose only aim is to make sure all of our needs are taken care of. My guide on this trip is Junior Flint, an easygoing and very knowledgeable individual. Junior has been a fishing and hunting guide for 20 years. I'm confident my trip will be successful. This is my first time fishing for Atlantic salmon, and I will admit that it's intimidating. I'm glad I have Junior with me to instruct me in the proper way. He has warned me that just because you see a lot of fish, it doesn't mean that they will be easy to catch. You must be alert and have quick reflexes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, you hooked him. That's, Are you kidding me? That ruined him. <laughs> I think I have an idea what I'm up for now. <laughs> wow. There are two types of rise forms that you will see. The first rise form indicates a fish that is moving through the run and is unlikely to be taken. This is when the fish jumps clearly out of the water and lands with a large splash. The second rise form is subtle. You will only see a bulge on the surface or possibly a fin exposed. This is the rise form that will likely produce a fish for you. And one thing I wanted to bring to your attention is when you are fishing close to rocks and banks, uh, and if you do hit them with your fly, this can happen. No hook. So you're not going to catch any fish if you don't have a hook. So please, check your fly after you've been fishing and hitting rocks. Um, so we're going to switch it up here. Different color. You want to... We're going to go with a little wet fly this time. Well, we're going to do a wet fly. Nope. All right. So wet flies for salmon, when it's low water, higher temperatures, they're a little lazy. They don't want to come up to the surface. So this is where we bring the fly to them. You want to swing it out in front of their mouths and kind of aggravate them. He's hooked. <laughs> okay. First salmon of the day. And he's pretty sluggish and down to the uh, you give him time. Down to the ground here. You be careful now, because he could run on you any minute. Okay. It? Yeah. So my rod tips high. Keep it high and keep the tension. He's got his head down. Keep it so. Keep it keep it just the way I am right yep. now. Yep. So I got an eight weight rod. I got about a nine foot there leader. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's what I want to see. Yeah. Now there we go. That's what I've been waiting for. Yeah. All right. He's just got his head down. Yeah. Well, that's a nice looking fish. All right. So he's going to swim. I'm just going to wait for him to. Gonna... There 
go. All right, buddy. Let's not go on any rocks. Oh, I watched the rocks. You're going to get them back. Don't let them go too far. Bring them back. Okay. Bring them back. Okay, I did not let that line go slack. I promise I did not. <laughs> we got a couple of different rivers, and there's a little river south of us that we fish. It's a bit earlier, usually mid-June, we we'll start catching fish on that. And this river we're on right here, the Salmon River, usually prime time, first week of July, right up through. All July month is usually prime fishing unless you get terrible weather conditions and everything dries up on us. But otherwise, from mid-June to the last of July is usually prime time fishing. Seven, I became owner of Tuckmore Lodge, and since then I built more, uh, I guess, uh, capacity in the company. And you know, uh, it's taken a long time when you start with uh, a little and try to make a lot. It takes a long time to get to a lot. <laughs> but anyway, that's what happened here at Tuckmore Lodge. And you know. I talk more large is not about me, it's about us and the staff have been really, really good. And without their support and help, I would not have been able to do it, okay? So a lot of credit goes to my staff. Atlantic salmon are no different than any other migratory fish in regards to where they will hold while in a river. Current seams are a prime area to look for fish. A current seam is where two currents of differing speeds meet. Water deflecting around rocks will cause these current seams to offer ideal holding places for fish. The rock can be fully submerged and still offer this protection. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. There we go. Sound again. No. Hello, hello, hello. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. All right. Play the bugger oh, out this time. My <laughs> that is beautiful. And this one's got a lot of energy. Don't you go in the rocks there. <laughs> now that's what I like. How low beautiful. Oh, we're going to fight. We're going to fight. All right, sweetheart. You gonna give me some more jumps? Keep them tight, nice and like you're doing. There you go. Come on. There. Take them right in up here when the time comes. I'll try. Right in this little valley here, right? You can see now why you need eight weight rod. You need that strong back. Fight these fish, they're hard fighting. And when they want to go, they go. They'll take you for a run. So you can, you must have a strong backing to your rod. Eight, nine weight. Eight weight's good for, well, I'm finding perfect for these fish right now. He still wants to run. Hey. There we go. He's coming this way hey. again. Keep him over here, no rocks over here either. Yeah, there's no rocks here. So I'm gonna try and back up, see if I can convince him. It's a nice him. fish, so be careful with him. He's What's that? It's a nice size fish. Yeah? Yeah. It's good. Pick his head up, keep his head up out of the water and he'll be, take him right on into the, to the cove. Keep his head up, 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 up. <laughs> Woo! And you got him. I'm gonna keep him in the, in the water much as I can. My first Atlantic salmon on the wet fly right here on the great northern peninsula of Newfoundland, Tuckamore Lodge. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, 
This would be a grilse, a right? Grilse, okay. a salmon. So it's a young salmon. Young salmon, about four pounds. Well, I'm very pleased with this. <laughs> this is this is just spectacular. What a fight! I have worked my I have worked myself <laughs> silly to get this fish, and it just feels so rewarding. Wow. We get them back out in the water again. Okay. There he goes. Nothing wrong with him. Good job, there. Oh, man. Good job. <laughs> oh, it feels so great. Oh, what a fight. What a fight. What a privilege. Wow. Perfect. to that power and feel that fish at the end of your line, that's what makes it so addicting. And I have felt that for the first time. How awesome Atlantic salmon fishing really is. I've hooked up with a few big ones. They've gotten off on a long line release, but just feeling that, now I know what others are feeling and why they love it so much. I don't even want to leave. <laughs> I could do this all the way to dark. Our setup today is simple due to special regulations. A floating line to a 9-foot leader, tapered down to a 3x or 9-pound tippet, and then the fly. The equipment used on this trip was 9-foot number 8 weight rods with matching reel that have quality drag systems. Large arbor spools are desirable for quick line pickup. Atlantic salmon have a habit of running directly at you and you must be able to retrieve the line fast. The technique of swinging a fly properly is pretty much a do-nothing technique. Simply cast at a 45 degree angle across and down the stream. Allow the current form to take the bow of the line that looks like the letter C. Allow the line to swing out through the current until it is straight below you. Then pick up the line and repeat. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Tight letter. Get to your line, get to your reel. Oh, keep tight. Oh, okay, let him go. Oh, no, 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 let him go. Bring him back, bring him back. I'm trying. <laughs> Hold on. Easy now, buddy. That's oh, easy, okay. easy, easy, easy. Try, okay, guide me through up, this. There's a lot of rocks over okay. there. Okay. Bring him back, bring him back. He's going around that big rock. Ooh. Holy smokes. Oh, he's a hard fighter. Hello, beautiful. Now, trick is to land this fish. I just keep fighting. Right. I got an eight weight rod here, and he yeah. is putting the bend to it. I got a nice fighting butt on the end of my rod, so I'm using a little bit of that fighting butt just to help keep this rod tip up. It takes the stress off the wrist. Bring them in here and I'll fiddle with them. Oh, bring them back, bring them back. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> okay. All right, you got to bring them up this time. Bring them up, bring them up, bring them up, bring them up. Ooh. Release. He 
broke the damn line at the last second. Don't come with the expectations of going away with, I'm gonna catch 20 fish today. It's not gonna be there. Salmon are a non-feeding fish, so they only bite just to be irritated for some reason or other. So if you hook up three, four fish a day and land a couple, you'll be, have a great day fishing. Don't come with the expectations, I'm gonna catch 20 fish today. It's not gonna be there. I hooked up three more times with no success. This was frustrating, but Junior had informed me that for my first time in Atlantic salmon fishing, I had a very successful day. It was getting close to the time we had to go back. I look forward to a good meal and some time to relax and read. After a full night's sleep and feeling rested, we headed back to the river. I mentally went over what I did the previous day. I was determined to be more successful today. I'm listening to my guide. Variety. So Spice of life. Spice of life. OK, new flies all the time. Just checking out, seeing what they want. So they don't get bored of it. Even a fly a minute, whatever works. Fish on. I do believe I got one. I do believe. Let, let, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. That's ah. a nice fish. Oh my goodness. No way. <laughs> oh, yes, oh yes, yes. All right, get up there. Line tight, line tight. Keep your line tight, that's yep. the girl. Keep it up. All right, number one rule, line tight, rod up. These fish love to jump. Run, jump, leap, head shake. Keep it. Keep it up. All right. I gotta follow them now. I gotta follow them. Yep, come on with me. Come watch your watch for your step. Let's see if I can kind of slowly walk you back. Back in, back it up, back it up. Right back, right back in here. Right? Here we go, don't try to keep them out of that grass a bit. You get entangled. Now as you're going back, tighten up, tighten up a bit. All right. Whew, this is a strong fish. All right, here we go. Let's walk them, walk them in. That's good fishing. <laughs> oh, That's a, hello, gorgeous. A nice five pound fish. Dry fly. <laughs> wow. Little green bug. Green bug. Yep. What an incredible fighting fish. I can't even say that is the most. Can, um, can we get a picture? Oh. That's where he is, right there. If you can get on him right there this morning. Come on. He's up to it. Ooh. I <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. We've got a jumper. Oh. Well, he's going around the rock, so you better be careful. I know. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I think. Mm. Let's see, let's Harry. see. Now I gotta go through all this craggy rocks. Okay. We got another one on the dry fly. Okay. But I have to get from here <laughs> to there. Okay. And keep this fish on. If he goes the other way, go the other way. Go upstream with him. Just watch where he's going. Well, that's a good idea. If he wants to go upstream, just come up here and we land him up here. Okay. Come this way. Give me your head, buddy. Give me your head. Good, perfect, perfect nose hook on that little bug again. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Whew. And that's how you do it when you've got all these rocks. Choose your options. Nice fish. Okay, I'm gonna take this fly out, our little green bug. Come here, sweetheart. There we go. See how easy that came out? There we go. Another Atlantic salmon. Very well. That girl's. That's a borderline, this one. Borderline. Almost. Yep. Almost there. Almost a couple year old fish. There we go. That was perfect. Good job. Thank you, sir. It really doesn't get better than that. On the dry fly, too. Oh my gosh, it's a dream come true. First time fishing for Atlantic salmon, and these girls are breaking me in beautifully. Setting that hook, timing is everything. As he calls it, John Whale, John Wayne fast. And that's it, that's how you do it. John Wayne fast. I hope you enjoyed today's show. A special thanks to Tuckamore Lodge. For more information, visit our website at thenewflyfisher.com. Until next time, tight lines, big fish. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Islander Precision Reels, Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet, Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. To learn more about the New Fly Fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook. <laughs>